The equinox may be taken to mark the end of astronomical summer and the beginning of astronomical autumn, autumnal equinox in the Northern Hemisphere, while marking the end of astronomical winter and the start of astronomical spring, vernal equinox, in the Southern Hemisphere. On the equinox, the center of the sun is indeed above the horizon for 12 hours. However, sunrise is said to begin when the upper edge of the sun's disk becomes visible above the horizon, which happens a bit before the center rises and ends when the entire sun has set. In this case, daylight is still a bit longer than nighttime. On this day, days and nights are approximately, but not exactly, equal in length for everyone across the globe. The word equinox comes from the Latin aequus equal and nox, night, that is, equal night. This happens on September 22, 23, or 24 in most years. The date of the equinoxes and solstices varies because a year in our calendar does not exactly match the length of the tropical year, the time it takes the Earth to complete an orbit around the Sun. All around us, trees and plants are ending this year's cycle of growth. Perhaps they're responding with glorious autumn leaves or a last burst of bloom before winter comes. So go outside around sunset or sunrise on the day of an equinox. Notice the location of the sun on the horizon with respect to familiar landmarks. If you do this, you'll be able to use those landmarks to find those cardinal directions in the weeks and months ahead, long after Earth has moved on in its ceaseless orbit around the sun.